thoughts create my world, whether my inner world or my outer world. And thoughts are the easiest thing to change. The easiest thing to change. And when I start living my life out of this equation, I am the creator of my thought and feeling. Your response to situations will change, whether it is this bigger situation of the past or whether it is day-to-day -day situations, day-to-day -day situations, I am the creator of my thought. Respond accordingly. Even if you have reacted, never mind. Don't endorse your reaction. Don't blame the other person for your reaction. Take personal responsibility. I created this reaction. I change. Even if it's in the mind because the reaction has already come out in the behavior. Never mind. I change. I change. So again, sit back and see yourself responding another way to that situation, which is past. But it means that the next time there is something similar that happens, I will respond another way because I'm coding it here. So it's like learning a language. All of us know at least two or three languages. And most of us learned those languages in the first three to four years of our life, which means a child who still does not know much about the world is able to learn a complete language, a complete vocabulary. If we could do that at the age of three and four, Let's learn a new vocabulary today. And that language is a language of right thinking. That language is a language of high vibrational thoughts. That language is a language of purity, of love, of compassion, of faith, of forgiveness of respect, of dignity, is a language. That is the language my mind will speak. I only need to start learning that language. And it doesn't take long to learn a language. And once you learn that language, let any situation come in your life and you will say, okay, this is fine. This is perfect. I'm sure there's something good in this. I'm sure there's benefit in this scene that has come. Same situations, but my response will change because I've changed my language. And so the thought that I will create in response to the stimulus of the situation will be a different language, will be a different language. And that language is called spirituality. Spirituality is a language, the language of the way I think. And the way I think creates my world, my inner world and my outer world. So I need to learn a spiritual language. How do I learn this language? How do my thoughts get created? The most powerful impact on my thoughts is the content I consume what I watch, what I read, what I listen is the source of my thoughts. It's the source of my thoughts. It's an emotional diet. Last decade or two decades, we have been consuming a lot of content. We just absorb content like a blotting paper, like a sponge. Every message on my phone, every new movie released, every new series on the OTT platforms, every new song that's out in the market. I just absorb, and of course, every update of the world news. I absorb like a sponge, like a blotting paper. And I thought it was normal to absorb everything that's coming on my phone or my TV, and of course, the internet, which connects me to the world all designed for our comfort, all designed to make our life very, very comfortable. 
and we, our life did become comfortable outside. But because we did not use it the right way, life inside started getting affected. And when life inside started getting affected, life outside was not comfortable anymore. Even though technology made our life comfortable, we were not comfortable because we were not comfortable inside. Restrict content consumption. Remember, this is our third equation. What I watch, what I read, what I listen is who I become. And who I become is what my world becomes outside, outside. So if I am con consuming content which has ego, lust, greed, jealousy, worry, fear, stress, comparison, our social media handles, social media handles full of comparison, created a way of thinking which said, if people approve of me, then I'm a good person. And so when I post something, I'm actually checking for public approval. And if public doesn't approve of what I've posted, I start changing what I post, which means I start changing myself only so that people approve of me. So I become like this. Please say I'm nice. Please like me. Please approve of me. We had this personality trait even earlier but it was restricted to only a few people around us that please approve of me, please appreciate me. Your appreciation makes me feel good. But with social media handles, it went to a global level. We want strangers to approve of us. We want unknown people to like us. So this is the sanskar, the personality trait that started getting created. So be very, very careful. Shift content consumption. Entertainment is becoming toxic. It's becoming toxic because if I consume all these emotions through any platform, then nothing can stop me from becoming that. And so we are saying, why am I experiencing stress? Why is depression increasing? Why is there anxiety? Well, that's the content I'm consuming. That's the content I'm consuming. So what I consume is who I become. Who I become is what my world becomes. Simple process plant. Now, what does spirituality do? What does the Brahma Kumari's Raj Yoga Meditation Center do? The first step, we go to the center and the first thing, we start learning. Who am I? Who is the divine power? How do I get connected? Is the first thing I start learning. I'm a peaceful soul. I'm a pure soul. Very different vocabulary. Very different vocabulary for me when I walked in the first time. I was not even able to say it initially. I'm a peaceful soul. I'm a pure soul. He said, how can I say I'm not? And then I was taught, say it, think it, and you will start becoming it because thoughts are what create you. So create the right thoughts because it's from there that your personality is getting created. So then starts a completely different vocabulary. Everyday spiritual study is a vocabulary of divinity, purity, faith, compassion, harmony, empathy, self-respect, cooperation, not competition, cooperation, caring, sharing, kindness, these are not just words, acceptance, not expectations. These are not just words. They start becoming my consciousness. Why? Because I was only consuming that content. Nothing else to do. Just consume that content. And not throughout the day. Just 20, 30 minutes in the morning. That's all. That's all. Just begin my day with that. And within a few days, couple of months, I start seeing a change in myself because I changed my content. I changed my content. When I change my content, my thoughts change. When my thoughts change, my world changes. So content 
is equal to personality, is equal to destiny, is equal to the state of the world. Change your content, your world will start changing. So what happens when we come to the Raj Yoga Meditation Center is first my content changes. So there are two things that we learn at the meditation center. One is spiritual study and second is meditation. Second is meditation. So what is meditation? Just sitting with yourself for a few minutes daily, teaching yourself that new language, repeating those thoughts, and creating a different coding here is meditation. Connecting to God, the divine power, energizing myself with that power of divinity and unconditional love and acceptance, that is meditation. So meditation changes who I am here and therefore changes the health of my body, the quality of my relationships, the quality of my work, the vibration of my home, the vibration of my office, everything changes just because I start changing here. It's very simple. It's very simple. It's just another language. And please remember, we learned languages when we were kids. So it's only going to be easier right now. All that I need to do is take out a few minutes on a daily basis, on a daily basis. And it doesn't take very long to learn this new language. So every morning, start with spiritual study. Every night before going to sleep, 10 minutes, last layer of content that goes here should be spiritual content, high vibrational divine content. Begin and end your day with high vibrational content. And during the day, restrict, restrict consumption of low vibrational content. Remind yourself, this is not entertainment. This is not time pass. This is my destiny. This is my personality. So don't scroll mindlessly. Be mindful of what you are scrolling. Be mindful of what you are surfing. We are becoming, and not just we are becoming, our world is becoming that. So just a few minutes in the morning, a few minutes in the night, based on the new vocabulary, write a few affirmations for yourself. I'm a powerful soul. I am happy always. I am calm and stable always. I release the past. I forgive. I forget, I accept people as they are. People accept me. My relationships are in harmony. My body is perfect, healthy. God is my constant companion. God's power and blessings becoming my power and God's power is a divine circle of protection around me. Just write a few affirmations for yourself. Affirmations means a vocabulary that I will repeat on a daily basis and make it my reality. Thoughts manifest, they become my reality. So begin your morning and end your day with those selected high vibrational affirmations. Within a few months, those high vibrational affirmations will not remain as 10 thoughts. They will start becoming your vocabulary. And then another few months, your entire vocabulary will be high vibrational affirmations. Your entire vocabulary, entire vocabulary will change. And when words change, our world changes. It's the word which is very important. The word my mind is creating, the word I am speaking, that words create my world. And also experiment, this is an experiment. Experiment with a plant-based diet. Food 
and water is not just nutrition for the body, it's vibrations. It is vibrations. So high vibrational diet, not just high nutritional diet, high vibrational diet, plant-based diet, animal-based diet, has vibrations of pain, has vibrations of helplessness, hurt, hatred, violence, and death. Lowest vibrations possible. High nutrition, high nutrition, but low vibration. Vibration of violence, pain, helplessness, and everything that happens in a slaughterhouse. All that we need to do is watch one video of a slaughterhouse and we will know what we are consuming in the name of a healthy diet. So experiment for three months with a plant-based diet. You will start feeling differently in the inner world and also in the body. Feel very light, very light. Animal-based diet is not just low vibrational diet, but it is an extremely difficult to digest diet for the body. And anything which is difficult to digest over a period of time accumulates as toxins in the body, manifests as a disease. Food should always be light, easy to digest, easy to digest. Easy to digest food and high vibrational food will keep your mind and your body healthy. So spirituality is actually a lifestyle. It's not really about few minutes. It starts becoming my lifestyle. The way I think, speak, behave, live, work. It doesn't mean I sit back doing nothing. We're all working very hard. We have all professions coming to the Raj Yoga Meditation Center. We have parents to young kids coming to the center. They are working hard throughout the day for their family and at their workplace, but they are investing a few minutes daily for self-care, for soul strengthening, because they've understood that their world is getting created from here.